Today I'd like to show you guys Exploring Creation with General Science. This is from Apologia and this is the seventh grade book that they have. They have a and they have an elementary series to be used for K through six and then this is for seventh grade and then they have an eighth grade book called Exploring Creation with Physical Science. So I'm going to do a flip through for you of this and show you a few other things that go along with the program. So this is the second edition. Um, this is the edition that my homeschool co-op uses and also I generally like to order older editions because they are less expensive usually. I can get them um, eBay and Amazon at a less expensive price. So let's take a look at what is covered in here. If you have been using the Apologia science books before seventh grade, the elementary books, they generally cover one topic per book. So the sea creatures in one, or astronomy in another, or chemistry and physics in another, or flying creatures in another. But this one is more of a general science. So it's covering a lot of things in just this one book. So we'll go through the table of contents and see the kinds of things that are in here. So we have a brief history of science, and we have archaeology, geology, fossil record, uniformitarianism, we have the human body, energy and life, and then the systems of the body, digestive, respiratory, lymphatic, and nervous systems. So they call their chapters in here modules. So this is module one, and I believe there are 16 of them. And I'm just going to flip through some of the pages so you can see what it's like. So these green boxes are the experiments, and I do recommend purchasing the science kits that you can buy for any of the Apologia books. They have science kits available, which has most of the items you will need so that you're not scrambling, trying to gather items um, at the moment. You can have them ready before the school year starts, so I do recommend getting a science kit. And you can get those at christianbook.com, I believe. So this is module one or chapter one and then at the end of the chapter they have some questions for the student to answer which they call study guides so that is a module so i'm just going to flip through here so one of the things about this book is you'll sometimes see this little um, cd a hand holding a cd and that means to get out your multimedia companion CD for this book and look at the little video that they have that goes along with that part. So this one here, archaeology and the external test. So there's the little um, CD. So you would get out the CD and you'd go to the thing that goes with figure 5-2 and you'd watch a little, the student would watch a little video that has more to do with that there. So that is what this book looks like and we have used this this year we're almost done using it with my daughter in seventh grade it's going well she did well transitioning from the elementary books to this one we have used all of the apologia books um, before this for her so something that you can get that goes along with this book is um, a cd that reads the entire text to the student and that's especially good if your student learns best through someone um, speaking to them like audio learning. So I'm going to play a little bit of the CD so you can get an idea of what that sounds like. I'm just going to start right at chapter one and you can, at module one, and you can just listen a little bit and see what that's like. Module one, a brief history of science. Introduction. This course will take you on a tour of what I consider to be the most interesting of all human endeavors, science. Now, of course, I am well aware that many people, perhaps even you, do not think science is interesting. Nevertheless, I do believe that most people's dislike of science comes from bad curriculum and or bad teachers, not the subject itself. Hopefully, as you go through this course, you will see why I find science so incredibly interesting. And if nothing else, you will at least develop an appreciation for this fascinating field of study. So what is science anyway? So that's just a little sample of the audio CD that you can get. 
So the things that I would get if we were going to use this book would be to get the student textbook. Um, I think having the multimedia companion CD is nice. So there's some videos and I'll show you a few videos in a moment. Also, you would need the solutions and tests. So in here you have the answers to those questions that I showed you that are in the book. So they have the solutions to the study guides and they also have the tests in here as well as the answers for the tests. All right, so I'm going to show you guys now um, a little bit from the multimedia CD. And the, the videos are a little, um, you know, they're not as like high definition as a video would be nowadays, but it is an older CD. So let's go on over to the computer and I'll show you a little of this. This demonstration shows you that in the absence of air, all things fall at the same rate, regardless of their weight. In this tube, I have a penny and a feather. In a minute, I'm going to turn this tube over, and as you might expect, the penny will fall faster than the feather. Here we go. All right, it happened just as you expected. The penny indeed fell much faster than the feather. Let's watch it again in slow motion. The penny hits now, the feather now. All right, nothing surprising there. Uniformitarians use a combination of slow deposition and erosion to explain the differences in the geology from region to region in the world. Consider, for example, these two regions of the world. Initially, rock is deposited equally in each region. However, once the rock is formed, differences in the climate cause erosion to occur differently. Suppose, for example, the region on the right side of this animation was exposed to more water. That would cause the rock to erode. If the region on the left side of the animation stayed rather dry, then the rock wouldn't erode at all. So that is a quick flip through of this book, and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing um, these other things that go along with this program. So if you guys have any questions about this book, please let me know in the comments below. And thank you for watching. Have a great day.